Jesse said to me, you know, I have a daughter that's a really good singer. I said, well, bring her down to the studio. Bring her in. You know, have you guys sung on anything together? She says, no, just in church. I said, well, bring her down and let's um, see what we can do. <laughs> I was immediately impressed with her. And I knew that nothing could stop her. She's one of those unstoppable talents. Also Whitney Houston was Houston with the voice of this generation. Mentor, she was the voice. Khan's signature anthem. I've always wanted to do a Shaka Khan song because I grew up listening to Shaka, man. Shaka was like, she was it for me. She was the ultimate. Um, I got the opportunity when I was 16 to do a background session uh, for her um, with my mom. It was the most incredible moment. I'll never forget it. And I hadn't seen her since I was 16 when I did Honor Every Woman. So when I invited her to um, come and, and do the video with me and she graciously said yes, um, I was I was thrilled. And when she got there, we I mean, I hadn't seen her in so long and it was like, Shaka, God, you know, isn't this incredible? I mean, you know, I'm doing your song. And she said, Whitney, she said, I got to tell you something. She said, you're the only one that could have. I was like, oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy, you know? It was really, really cool. Shaka Khan, very much. Very much. Shaka Khan. Shaka. Shaka did things that, things that um, no other singer was doing. Um, like uh, harmonizing on one line out of, out of a verse that I'd never quite um, heard anybody do so perfectly. They're all really good ones and funny ones. Um, there was one time um, me and her body were all together in a hotel. And it was actually in Florida as well. And we were up there getting high together um, and talking crazy and having a really, really, really good laughing and having a really, really good time. Now, it sounds all suspect and crazy, but it wasn't. We, we were just three people talking, and Bobby said, uh, uh, Shaka, you ought to let me manage you. <laughs> we did <laughs> go forward at that, and we're laughing about him. And and Bobby Christine, is, uh, just, she's such a lovely little girl. She's such a lovely young woman. Are you worried about her? Cause she's... I'm concerned, but I know that... Um, The last gig uh, I did with uh, her, well, well, last time I saw her was at my gig with Prince here in L.A. on May 5th. And um, when I was singing, I saw her in the audience. And I was so happy to see her. And I could see in her eyes, she just wanted to sing. You just all we want to do is sing. There must have been <laughs> agony for her that she it, didn't. It was. It was agony. It was you know, it was killer. I so I just told her, come on, come on, let's do something. So I just said, forget about the song. I said, you know, forget about the word, just handle do what you want. You know? And um, we had a great time and after that we had a great time after the show in my dressing room. We talked for over an hour and laughed and talked about life and I was so <laughs>
A.W., a grown woman. <laughs> and she was, she's a grown woman. And the choices and decisions that she made for her life, I think had she been spared, would have made her just a greater human being.